Hello boys and girls and friends who are watching with you. Welcome back to our video series at our wits end. And today we are continuing our series on God and the animals. I've told you a lot of things over the past four weeks about God and the animals, how God created all the animals and loves them and gave us the job of taking care of them. And we've talked about various ways that you and I and our families can take care of the animals. Today I'm going to share with you part of a story from the Bible about animals and people and God. The story, most of you know, is called Noah and the Ark. And there are songs about this story the Lord said to Noah, you're going to build an arky, arky. And the animals, they came on, they came on by twosies, twosies, elephants and kangaroosies, roosies, children of the Lord. Noah and the Ark is a favorite children's story. But I've always had a problem with the story of Noah and the Ark as a children's story because there are parts of the story that I really don't want to tell to the children because it could make them very sad. Well, I've been thinking about that and I think it's important for us to feel sad sometimes, to feel grief, to realize that it is tragic when the animals suffer and die. In this story, most of the time when adults tell it to children, they talk about the animals that were saved, like the snakes and the polar bears and the elk. But really, boys and girls, in that story, something else terrible, terrible happened. Hundreds, thousands, millions, probably billions of animals died. And when we hear that part of the story, we need to feel sad. And we need to know that that was a tragedy. And we need to talk about how tragic it is when the animals die because of what the people do. The animals didn't do anything wrong, but the people did. And that's why the animals died. Boys and girls, we've talked about this before, and it's a terrible piece of bad news. But many, many animals are dying these days and will continue to die because of what people do. Some animals are already extinct. Some are very rare and increasingly precious. And it would be tragic if they disappeared from the earth, but they are going to. And how should you and I feel about that? We should be sad. We should be grieving, but we also should be angry. And our anger must cause us to do something to help the animals that are left, to take good care of them. Boys and girls, this is an extremely important lesson. The animals, like the penguins, they depend on us not to steal the places where they lived, not to put poisons into the air, not to think that human beings are the only creatures God made that matter. Boys and girls and everyone who's listening today, this is an important lesson from At Our Wits End. I am Grandpa Ken, and I want you to think about the animals that you love and how sad it is when one of them dies. And I think that's going to be the topic of our last video next week on God and the animals. In the meantime, remember, 
your most important job every day is to have fun, to be joyful, to be happy, and then to find ways to love others. Plants, other animals, other people. I love you guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.